Hi again, good morning. My name is Mrs. Beverly Suarez, your grade 10 CSS teacher. So for this lesson, we are going to discuss the basic concepts in CSS. This is still under personal entrepreneurial competencies. Now let's proceed to objective. For this lesson, you must be able to explain the basic concepts in computer system servicing. Okay, so the primary purpose of computer system servicing is to provide you with the knowledge and skills that will help you become a computer hardware technician. Just like me, I am a computer hardware technician by career. Also, I enjoy other kinds of career, but I wanted to explore more on the computer systems because I wanted to do my own maintenance of my computer system. That's why I am very much inclined with this one. Okay, so up next is a short video about what a computer is. Today, computers are all around us. From desktop computers to smartphones, they are changing the way that we live our lives. But have you ever asked yourself, what exactly is a computer? A computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data. The computer sees data as ones and zeros, but it knows how to combine them into more complex things, such as a photograph, a movie, a website, a game, and much more. Computers use a combination of hardware and software. Hardware is any physical part of the computer, which includes all of the internal components and also the external parts like the monitor and the keyboard. Software is any set of instructions that tells the hardware what to do, such as a web browser, media player, or word processor. Now, when most people say computer, they're talking about a personal computer. This can be a desktop computer or a laptop computer, which has basically the same capabilities, but in a more portable package. Personal computers come in two main styles, PC and Mac. PCs are the most common type. There are many different companies that make them, and they usually come with the Microsoft Windows operating system. Macs, or Macintosh computers, are all made by one company, Apple and they come with the Mac OS X operating system. Computers come in many other shapes and sizes. Mobile phones, tablets, game consoles, and even TVs have built-in computers, although they may not do everything a desktop or a laptop can. There's another type of computer that plays an important role in our lives, servers. A server serves information to other computers on a network. In fact, every time you use the internet, web servers deliver the web pages that you want to see to your computer. Servers are also used in many offices to store and share files. As you can see, there are many different types of computers out there, and they affect our lives in a variety of ways. Okay, so maraming klase ng computer, hindi lang yung mga alam natin na desktop or laptops, marami pang iba, including smartwatches. Okay, so my computer din yan, pero limited features or capabilities. Okay, now let's move on to the IPO. IPO stands for Input Process Output. So a computer system consists of a set of electronic and electromechanical components on which these are able to accept some form of input, process this input in a way that can be specified by means of a set of instructions, and procedure some type of output or produce some type of output, I mean. So all computers follow the same fundamental sequence. First is the input where they accept the instructions and data. Second is the process where the data is being processed according to the set of instructions. And third is the output where 
the computer produces results in the form of an information or an action and it represents the output. Moving on, a computer system comprises of both hardware and software. Okay, so let's focus first on the hardware part. Hardware represents the electronic circuits and or electromechanical components from which the computer is constructed. Kaya nga sa motherboard, ang daming circuits, di ba? Okay, ganun din sa mga hard disk and everything inside the computer system is electronic. Okay? Now, the basics or the basic computer consists of the following devices. Siyempre, hindi mo lang kailangan ng system unit. Kailangan mo siyempre ng keyboard and mouse and display, which is obviously your monitor, para pwede ka mag makipag-interact with your computer. In this respect, we provide input to the machine via keyboard. Kung sa tayo nagta-type, nagkaka-accept siya ng input ng mga characters na tinatype natin sa keyboard. Same thing with the mouse, kung sa nakaka-accept siya ng movements para sa ating mouse. And we can observe the results of the computational process by means of display screen. So, kung ano yung nakikita mo sa screen mo after mo mag-type, after mo mag-point something on the mouse, yun na yung output mo. Okay? So, yan. So, marami pang klase ng mga peripherals. Okay? But we'll talk about that later. So, the central processing unit. Okay, ito common to na mistakes sa mga students. Ma'am, bubuhatin ko po ba yung CPU? Okay. Ma'am, pupunasan po ba yung CPU? Ma'am, ang bigat po ng CPU. Saan ko po ito ilalagay? Okay, so guys, ang CPU, which stands for Central Processing Unit, ay yung processor mo, yung maliit na chip underneath the heat sink na nasa motherboard mo, okay? Yung sinasabi yung mabigat na casing, yan ay system unit or SU. So, don't be confused. CPU, hindi. Kasi yun yung processor, yung chip niya. System unit, yung kanyang casing. Okay, so as we all know, CPU, which is able to follow or execute a series of instructions and controls most of the activities that take place within the machine. Siyempre, pag mataas ang CPU mo, expect na mo na maganda ang machine mo. Okay, kasi mas mahal siya, obviously. Ano, ano ba yung mga klase ng CPUs natin ngayon? Dalawa ang manufacturer niyan. Isang Intel and isang AMD. Ang Intel, ito yung mga nakikita nyong usahan natin sa Pentium. Okay? Ah, Ato, Intel Atom, Intel Celeron, Pentium 4, Pentium Dual Core, Octa Core, i3, i5, i7, i9. Okay? Yun po yung mga Intel base. Ngayon, ang AMD naman, isa tong klase ng manufacturer ng CPU, kung saan ang mga pangalan nila ay AMD Athlon, Xenon, uh, ano pa ba yung isa? Radeon, ay, de, de, iba pala. Okay? So, the, I forgot about the names. Okay? So, yan, AMD and Intel. Ngayon, anong pinagkaiba ng dalawa? Una-una, branding. Sila lang ang taming, tanging nagmamanufacture ng CPU. Okay? Ngayon, ang Intel... More on, actually, pwede naman ang Intel sa gaming eh. Kaya naman na niya. Nagtatapatan lang tong dalawang to eh. Ngayon, si Intel, pwede siya pang mga video editing, work, work-related applications, mga ganyan. Pwede rin gaming. Ang AMD, natural siya na pang gaming talaga. Okay, so yun. Kasi karamihan ng mga AM... AMD CPUs ngayon ay may integrated GPU or graphics, integrated graphics, yung Vega, Vega graphics. Para hindi mo na kailangan bumili ng separate na video card. Okay, so yan. 
mahal po ang CPU, okay? Depende sa kung gano'n siya kataas yung level niya. Okay. Now, let's move on to the memory devices. A collection of memory devices able to store instructions and data during operation of computer. Okay, RAM. Okay, RAM. Random access memory or memory card. Okay. So, syempre, hindi gagana ang computer pag wala siyang RAM. Ang mga RAM ngayon, nasa DDR4, mga ganyan. 4 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of RAM. Kung malupit yung computer mo at maganda yung motherboard mo talaga. Okay guys, kailangan nyo mo, bago kayo bumili ng mga components, make sure compatible siya sa motherboard mo. Okay, ngayon, pwede yung umabot ng 16 gigabytes of RAM. Depende, no? So, yan. Uh, next is storage devices. Various storage devices able to store instructions and data even when the computer is turned off. Kagaya na lang ng hard disk. Okay, ang HDD na tumatakbo ng 500 gigabytes, 1 terabytes, 2 terabytes. May mga HDD and CCTVs, kaya niya hanggang 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes. Ganyan. Meron din namang SSD, yung solid state drive. Ito ay mas manipis. Ito yung nilalagay sa mga laptop. Ay, ganun din yung storage capacity. Mga 1 terabytes, 500 gig, ganyan. Okay, meron namang hybrid. SHDD. Solid hard disk drive. Okay. So, ano siya? Uh, hybrid siya ng SSD at HDD. Okay. Ano kinaiba nung dalawang to? Ay, okay. Bago pa ako magpunta doon sa kainaba. May isa pa. M.2. Maliit lang siya, namukha siyang memory card, pero yung gold plating niya wala dito, nasa dulo. Okay, parang pa ganyan siya. Storage device din yan. Okay, actually, kung ayaw mo na ng mga hard disk kasi more on cables, alam niyo naman pag maraming cables sa system unit, mas mainit siya. Okay, no? So, nililess natin ang cables. Ayan, kung, kay, kung meron namang M.2 feature ang inyong motherboard, pwede yun. No? Mas mahal nga lang yun kasi yun ang mas bago talaga eh. Okay, so anong kaibahan ng... Uh, SSD at HDD. Ang HDD, platters yan. Hmm, kahit 2, sabihin mo ng 2.5, manipis lang siya, pero platters mabigat, metal kasi. May metal sa, may plates siya sa loob. Ngayon, dito mo ini-store yung operating system at lahat ng files na meron ka, na gusto mo i-save, no? Okay, uh, ang SDD, solid state na siya, chip siya sa loob, malaking chip, parang flash drive, ganun. And, mas mabilis magbasa ang reading and writing ni SSD kaysa HDD. Ang kanaibahan, pagdating sa, syempre, performance, mas mabilis, mas maganda, di ba? Kaso nga lang, si HDD, pag malapit na siyang bumigay, naglalabas siya ng mga blue screen. Okay, blue screen of death. Yung mga ganyan. Si SDD, pag malapit na siyang bumigay, wala siyang nilalabas sa symptoms. Okay, so yun. So, it's up to you. It's up to your budget. Pwede kang mag-combine. Actually, pwede kang mag-combine. May HDD ka, may SDD ka pa. Pwede yun. Marami ako nakikinta ang ganun. Or may HDD ka, may M.2 ka. Ang M.2, bago siya for us in the Philippines. Pero abroad in the US, common na rin yun. Pero... Pwede, ma masyado kasi siyang mahal eh. O, ganun naman yung pagbago mo siya. Pag ano, uh, medyo bago pa, mahal talaga, no? So, di hamak na mas maganda ang capacity. Uh, same ng storage capacity, pero mas maganda ang performance ng M.2. Okay. So, ayan. Yan yung mga storage devices. Mama, kaklasify ba ng storage devices ang mga flash drives? Okay. It's a pop po. Utang na loob. Huwag naman po kayo magsabi ng... Ma'am, may USB ka po. Ma'am, magdadala po ba ng USB? Nako po. Ito, yung mga ganyan, hindi USB ang tawag dyan. Okay? Flash drive. Okay? Kaya, please, your terminology is pakiayos dahil grades na kayo. At, don't expect na yung iba alam yan. So, maganda na sa inyo mismo manggaling yung mga ganyang bagay. Na bro, hindi yan... USB flash drive yan. Okay. Now, let's move on to the PC itself. Personal computer. The most common form of computer in use today. 
is the PC. This was the name given to a computer configuration that evolved where during the 1970s and which is a desktop machine. Ito napaka lolong lolo na to. Siguro yung mga lolo ko din nila to naabutan. <laughs> Pero I think when I was in elementary, meron na kong ganitong yung base type, base kasi yan eh, yung mga nakababa. Pero ang lit naman ng monitor nito. Dati mga CRT ang lalaki ng monitor bibigat. Pero ngayon na this tower Meron na nga mini PC eh, yung malini, malinipis lang, ah, maliliit lang kung ayaw mo makakonsume ng space. At kung hindi ka naman talaga pang, ano, pang matindihan yung, ano mo, gagawin mo doon sa PC na yan. Okay, so yan, PC. Next is the software. Computer hardware is in itself unable to perform any useful task. It must be provided. Pro provided with detailed and unambiguous instructions indicating exactly what actions are to be taken. Software is a term that is used when referring to programs in a general way and encompasses instructions that are to be acted upon by a computer and the data that may be needed by these instructions. Okay, so lahat na naklas ng progress na alam nyo, pati yung mga pang gaming programs na alam nyo. Okay, mga Microsoft Office, web browsers, mga pang streaming like Spotify, okay, Netflix, pang editing like Photoshop, Filmora, mga ganyan. So, ayan, mga softwares po yan. Computers can perform calculations at a very high speed and have the ability to support the storage and rapid retrievals of enormous volumes of data. Furthermore, a computer is able to make decisions during the execution of instructions. In fact, a computer can handle instructions in three different ways. Okay, so, and in three different ways, I mean three, what are those three different ways na yan? So before that, so, ang computers, may sarili siyang calculations na mas mabilis pa siyang mag-calculate kesa sa atin. Okay? Mabilis siyang makapag-retrieve ng information kasi mas mas smart siya eh. Okay? Mas matalino siya. Mabilis siyang makapag-decide. And ito yung three ways of handling instructions sa isang computer. It can execute sequence of instructions. A computer has the ability to execute a list of instructions. Kahit gaano kahabang algorithm yan, yung list niya, maintindihan niya yan. Iteration, it can execute instructions by iteration. A computer can execute a series of instructions repeatedly. Kahit paulit-ulit, hindi siya napapagod. Third, it can execute instructions by selection. A computer is also able to select the next instruction that it should execute according to some condition. For example, if the value stored in a certain memory location is less than 10, to do this or else do this. Okay, so, nasa decision making niya yan, yung selection niya, kung anong klaseng instruction ang gagamitin niya, depende sa condition. Okay, so, ganyan siya mag-handle ng instructions na binibigay natin. Hindi natin napapansin yan, pero kasi mabilis na kasi mag-process ang mga computers ngayon. Let's, ha, commonly ngayon naman ay kaya nilang mag-multitasking. Okay. Computer network refers to two or more computers communicating with each other. Networks can be classified by several methods, which include the technology used and the network size. The following are the criteria used when networks are classified by size or physical area they cover. So, sa networking, syempre, is pinakamagandang representation na dito ang computer laboratories. Maraming computers, may server, may host PC. Sa computer shop, maraming computers, may host PC or yung server. So, ayan, network yan. So, I have here a short video about the different types of computer networks.
Okay, yun yun. <laughs> so, nakita nyo na dun yung mga LAN, WAN, WLAN. Okay, yan yung mga common. So, let's talk about that. The first one is the PAN. Hindi to si PAN de Coco at PAN de Mungo. Okay? O yung apo ni Goku. So, ito ay Personal Area Network PAN. It includes personal devices communicating at near, nearby range like cell phones, laptops. This type of network can be used can use wired connections like uh USB cables or even fire wire or wireless connections like the Bluetooth, infrared wala, wala na ngayon. <laughs> okay. So yeah, pan. Okay? Next is the LAN or the Local Area Network. Okay, it encompasses a small local area, like for example, office or even home. Okay, na hindi naman sobrang small as aside from pan, pero small enough, just like a home or a small group of buildings or other building. So ito yung mas nakikita natin na may mga LAN cable sa mga linya linya. Okay, WLAN or the wireless LAN. It covers limited geographical area. Ito medyo hindi na siya nasa building lang or nasa home. Medyo lumawak na siya pero hindi naman sobrang lawak, okay? Limited lang such as outdoors, public areas. Like sa mga malls, may wifi ang SM, di ba? Okay, so yan. May wifi ang milk teas. Ganun. Milk tea shops, I mean. Also, in homes that are not wired for networks, yung may mga Wi-Fi, considered na rin yan. No? Considered na rin. Uh, so, ayun. Medyo malaki siya. Wireless LAN. Actually, LAN to na may wireless feature. Okay? So, yan. Wi-Fi. Up next is the MAN or the Metropolitan Area Network. It encompasses encompasses a large campus or city can or campus can okay campus area network yan or campus area network refers to a small man wireless lte or wimax or wired ethernet with fiber optic cabling so pwede to uh, in a city ganyan o kaya sa mga schools campus universities okay so yan Metropolitan sa city kasi malaki na yun, di ba? So, ayun. Man. Okay, pwede siyang wireless. LTE, maganda ang version ng LTE. Sa mga SIM cards, ganun naman talaga ngayon para maganda yung takbo ng data mo. Kung gusto mong magandang wired, pwede Ethernet, pwede rin may fiber optic. Okay. Next one is the WAN or the Wide Area Network. It covers a large geographical area and it's made up of many smaller networks. It's best known one is the the best known one is the internet. Some techno technologies used to connect a single computer or LAN to the internet includes DSL, cable internet, cellular, one or fiber optic. So ito a uh, very large geographic geographical area na to like capital na yata to or bansa okay alam ba na lang Singapore ayan yan one yan one okay kasi kahit sang prefecture prefectures kahit sang dako ka ng Singapore may internet okay so yun so small networks combined together to provide a very big or wired wide area network so, pwedeng ang connection nila ay mga DSL or kaya cable. Alam niyo sa cable, yung mga signal cable. Okay? May, uh, uh, de, not, the, not the signal kasi I think wala pa silang internet connection. But, the sky cable. Meron na silang bundle ng may internet. Okay? Pwede rin namang cellular, yung mga data-data. Pwede rin namang fiber optic. Okay? So, that is all for today for the whole topic which took so long. <laughs> okay, major technical ton topic to So, thank you very much and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!